Either today we're gonna talk about the importance of writing every single day, why I choose Obsidian to do this, and also how I use Obsidian Publish to share my writings, and I'm gonna be showing you this really cool presentation that funnily enough, I also did in Obsidian, you can see it right there, and that's how I control my slides in case you are curious. With that said, let's get started. We're gonna be using this circle as our foundation. We're gonna start from the center. This is called the Golden Circle by Simon Sinek. It's a really cool concept. And we're gonna start with why write. I remember before I got into this whole world of PKM note-taking and these tools such as Obsidian and Tana to help me write down better notes and organize my mind into a digital brain, let's call it. One of my first inspirations of the people that really inspired me to do this was Ryan Holiday. And the reason why I thought he was so cool for organizing things in notes like this is because all of his notes that he gathered through the years, he then turned into books. This obviously comes from people like Nicholas Luhmann, if you're familiar with the Settle Caston, he's the guy that wrote hundreds of books based on his notes. And that's what originally got me into this whole world of note taking but I think it's so easy to lose track of what matters which is to put your writings out there to generate some sort of impact and that's what I want to start with so why write by writing you are literally transferred thoughts from your mind into the reader's mind just think of the books that have impacted you personally things that have changed the way you see the world so writing has a superpower of transferring your ideas from your head into someone else's head one of the reasons is because you want to think clearly this is the ability to put abstract thoughts and abstract ideas that you have in your head into somewhere tangible where you can make something with it you can give it structure and now you can even share it with others and writing clearly is thinking clearly that's all it is and this reflects this quote by Richard Feynman notes are in a record of my thinking process they are my thinking process whether you're writing for yourself in your notes or you're putting things out into the world which is what I recommend because now you can cause an impact in other people's lives Either way, by writing it, you are giving structure to your thinking process. The next reason why writing is important is because it helps you bring self-awareness. As a consequence of clarity, it gives you a better understanding of yourself, of who you are, both personally and professionally, and this can help you grow in all sorts of ways. And then the other one is that by writing and publishing your work, you can build this online presence and start gathering an audience, which is something that I got into more detail in my previous video, so check that out. In this video, I will go overall into the benefits of writing as a whole, but developing a voice online through writing can give you the authority to build a business and to actually even make a living online if that's what you prefer to gain financial freedom. Those are some of the reasons why writing is important. Now let's get a little bit more into the how. Now there's two aspects of the how, which are quite broad because you can ask, how do you write? Like how do you actually bring ideas together into something that you can publish? And also how do you technically go through the process of publishing something online? Because starting a website is not always the easiest process. So that's what I want to break down for you right now. And one of the things that I want to talk about right now is Obsidian Publish, because it's a really cool tool that I can't believe I actually haven't made a dedicated video on this because it's such a powerful tool to help you get started. Now just so you know Obsidian Publish is paid and I'm not being paid to share this with you this is actually what I'm using so I just wanted to share it with you and even though there might be some free alternatives to Obsidian Publish I think a lot of them are a headache and the reason why I want to share Obsidian Publish with you is because I think it's one of the easiest ways to get started and start sharing what you do online today. Literally you can just start publishing things to your website your Obsidian Publish website today and that's what I love about this is low friction there's no excuses and you can get started literally in 10 minutes from now so if you do find any other better tools feel free to use those this is just the one that I thought you would really value because it is very nice to just get started and set up with it. let me just show you what I actually have for my website because the challenge that I'm going through is to do a daily blog so yeah here we are this is what my obsidian publish looks like I have a bit of a login here where I say like which day of my daily blog post I'm in how many words I've written so far and here's today's post like that really cool that I can also just keep scrolling and I can see yesterday's post in here and I can just keep going and I have a very nice simple way in which I can just share my thoughts online without having to run a whole website or anything like that because all I have to do is I just go to my obsidian in here and here's where I just write my post I have a dedicated vault for this and then I just open here and if I just want to make any modifications like hello I would just go here publish once this is activated you just need to pay and then you have that activated then it says how many things have changed recently and those are the two things that I've made changes to and once that is ready you just press publish and now in here you'll see that the word hello that I just added is the same thing if I just want to remove it you can just make all sorts of changes literally as easy as just changing your notes and pressing publish 
and I just go there and if I just refresh, there you go. That is gone and any modifications that I make inside of my nodes can be reflected here. As you can see, this is not the default Obsidian theme. I am using one, which I'll credit in the description of this video. And yeah, like by default, things look a little bit different. I did make some modifications with code, but you don't need to do that. They do have some easy toggles that you can activate because by default things look like this. There's a sidebar and so on, but you can just turn everything off. And let me just show you that real quick. If you go here to publish, you can just see these settings and you have a bunch of things, which is the main page that you want people to see when they get into your site. You can configure things. It's a little bit more advanced, but that's how I managed to, instead of having something that says obsidian.md slash Santi, in that case, I can have my own name, which is santiyanger.blog slash daily. But yeah, it gives you that freedom to do that if you want to, not necessary. You can make it light or dark. You can make it adapt in that case. And then here you can have a bunch of other things such as stacking pages, which I guess I can show you. I personally don't have that activated, but let's just publish that to see how it looks. And if I just go back to my site and refresh it, there you go. Now, when I open one of these, it's gonna stack like that. Or if I go to one of my bottom ones, I know here I have some other links, Tana, and you get the idea. This is a nice way in which you can have something quite unique happening with your site that makes your site stand out in a really cool way. If you click here, it should take me back. Let me just open something else. There you go. But yeah, hopefully you get the idea. That's pretty cool. Daily blog, and that should take us to the beginning. So yeah, pretty interesting concept. You can just navigate things like that. Yeah, I mean, it's quite unique. I honestly not surely convinced if that suits my website. I want to give people kind of a cleaner interface, but it's an option you can have if you like that kind of stuff. I think that works well if you are sharing notes, but personally, I think having something like a daily blog, which you can bring a little bit more structure of something that your audience can read if they stumble upon it, a way in which you can structure thoughts very clearly and as everything standing for itself, I personally think a daily blog is much better than sharing your notes online that's just my personal preference but if you do want to share your notes this is the perfect way to do so as well but yeah you have a bunch of really cool settings show navigation let's just see how that looks after you make a change it says these are the changes made you just click publish and there you go that is already there in here and you have things such as the toggle if that's what you want which is a pretty cool idea you can also have a search bar which i actually have it turned off but you can do that search bar yeah that's what i meant and save settings. Yeah, there you go, it's on. And now if I just search something, this actually searches for titles, not so much the content of it. So yeah, like that could be quite nice. And here, as you can see, we still have the stack of these nice panes that we can just navigate through. I personally prefer having it all super clean. So that's just up to your preference. But yeah, if I just nap, I'll bring it back to normal. There you go. I just turn off the settings and just brought it back to this very clean version that what I really like about this is that it doesn't even look like it's Obsidian published. I personally like just a very simple look because it just makes it feel like any normal website instead of just my notes. So yeah, that's what I like about this. I think it's a really nice way to just get started and share your thoughts online. If you do need help setting it up, feel free to reach out. I'm definitely happy to help with that. But with that said, let's get back to the presentation that we have in here. And that is why Obsidian published such an amazing tool can just help you put your work out there with very low barrier and I think it's one of the best ways to just get started today sharing your thoughts online and if you can doing it through a daily blog I think that's an amazing way to do it now here we're talking about the how right so one of the ways is how do you share your thoughts online the answer to that is obsidian published like I just showed you and the other aspect of that is how do you actually put things together that you want to share online so now in terms of my method the ways that I use to actually put things into words and have something that I can share I personally really like using dictation normally I was speaking to the phone and now I have a loose structure of what I want to say and then once I have some raw material that I can use I actually use AI to make corrections I use chat GPT and one of the things I love about this is that in the past I'd be too self-aware to share my writings online because I'd be self-aware of my grammar especially English not being my first language to be fair even in Spanish I still feel self-aware of my grammar so the fact that now we have something like AI tools that can help us go through grammar and and make corrections is an amazing way to make me feel more confident that what I'm writing won't have a bunch of dumb grammar mistakes, you know? So that's really cool. It also will help you structure things a bit better. And then the next step is I actually go through manual improvements to make sure that everything's my own. I also do things in a way that AI will keep my same way of speaking so that it feels genuine. It feels as much as me as possible. I just say like, hey, don't change the way that I speak. Don't change the tone. Just change the grammar to any mistakes that I made. 
like right there, but <laughs> you get the idea that I do metal improvements to make things end up in the way that I wanted to. So there you go, that's the how, both in terms of that tool that I use, which is Obsidian Publish to get started, as well as my method, which is what I was saying about dictation tools, as well as AI and the manual improvements. If you want me to dig deeper into my method, I'm happy to do so, so let me know in the comments. But that is my how. Now, if we go back to the circle, we'll see that there's also the what. So the what is, what do you write about? So this one is a topic I really like because this also depends on your ambitions. If you want to build a personal brand and start attracting an audience, people that you can help achieve their goals and you can even form an online business if that's something that you're interested in, it's really cool because what you can write about is your interest, things that actually get your attention, things that you're passionate about so that you can express who you are. You can give more of who you are into the digital world so that you can attract people like yourself that want to achieve the type of things that you've achieved. And all of this is to attract similar people to you, like I just said. But all of this is the foundations of how you build an online business and how do you build a personal brand. And all of this brings us full circle into the whole structure of the why, the how, and the what. Now, if you want to dig deeper in this, you want an accountability partner to help you write every day, check out my community, really cool place where we can dig deeper together into finding the best tools to improve your systems and achieve the workflows that you've been trying to achieve. If you want to dig deeper into building a personal brand, as a place to go, bunch of different resources to help improve your systems in all sorts of ways. Super excited for that. Definitely check out the link in the description if you're interested. And with that said, hope you enjoyed this video and go get writing. See you later. Bye. Go right.